Exercise 8, Coordinate Geometry, Perpendicular Distance Formula, Part 1. Number 1. Find the perpendicular distance from the point P, 7, negative 5, to the line X minus 3Y minus 2 equals 0. Now pause the video and have a go at this. OK. Now you should have written down that X1 is equal to 7. Y1 equals negative 5, A equals 1, B equals negative 3, and C was negative 2. And the formula was AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now just filling all that in, we get P is equal to 7 plus 15 minus 2 all over square root of 1 square which is 1 and minus 3 square which is 9 and that comes out to 20 over root 10 and then we're just rationalizing that making it a little bit better we get that e equals 2 root 10 as your final exact answer Question 2, show that the line root 3x plus y minus 5 equals 0 is a secant of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Right, now, what we need to do is to pause the video and just have a go at this. Okay, now what you should have done is we have that a circle and the radius is going to be 3 and the center is 0, 0. So our x1 is equal to 0, our y1 is equal to 0. And clearly, if this is to be a secant, it must cut it in two places, so it must be less than 3 units. So we write down what a is. Now a is root 3, b is equal to 1, and c equals negative 5. Writing out the formula, P equals the absolute value of AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now, this is naught, this is naught, so we just have absolute value of minus 5 all over the square root of, this will be a root 3 squared, which is 3 and root 1 squared which is which is, which is 1, so root one, 1 squared is 1 and of course that's going to be equal to 5 over 2 which is 2.5 and, and since 2.5 is less than 3 this must be a secant